Hi, this is Melanie of Paradise Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Molly Allen film, The Goat Life. If you're new to Paradise Reviews, I do trailer actions and film reviews of Indian cinema. I've just come out of seeing The Goat Life, one of the most eagerly anticipated films. Um, of course, Prithviraj is starring. Blessy it wrote the script, directed the film. This film was has been in process for 16 years. Prithviraj was attached to it, I think all the way back in 2008. It's based on um, a novel by Benjamin. The Malayalam title is Adu Jeevatam, and which translates to the goat life. And it's based on true events. So uh, Prithviraj is uh, playing someone who is forced into slavery in Saudi Arabia, and he's in the middle of nowhere um, having to tend to goats. And the second half of the film is hit, is a really intense survival drama as he makes his escape and tries to cross the desert in Saudi Arabia. All that went into the filming is almost a bigger drama than the film itself because um, when they were filming in Jordan, some of the scenes that were supposed to be, you know, in, uh, in place of Saudi Arabia, they that was during COVID lockdown and they were stuck in Jordan, the entire crew for 70 days. It's really been a long journey. Um, Ahar Rahman did an amazing score for this film. Wow, yeah, it's just really, really something. I I have to tell you, this is a career performance for Prit Faraj. I'm sure you could have guessed that from what we saw in the trailer alone. I mean, it's very, very intense. Uh, what happens, you know, I can only imagine if maybe they didn't include all of the horrible things that might have happened to him and his character in captivity, his character Najib. Um, Oh my gosh. And then when he's having these, you know, the, the, the sand of the Sahara Desert, you know, uh, it looks like an ocean, right? Like a rippling sand. And so when he hallucinates or remembers, falls into a memory of home, of Kerala, the sand becomes water. And all, I mean, all he can think about in this extremely dry climate is water, is how you know it's always raining like the the love scenes with his his wife um Senu, like all of these scenes there's water or he's diving into water or he's working in water he's teaching his wife to swim in the river um just the juxtaposition of the harshness of the landscape that he is trapped in compared to all that he had ever known in his life before that time um, I mean, and this is years of captivity. So it's a super intense film. I will say, I mean, it's long. It's almost three hours long. Um, they really give I, the sense of dread that I had because we know what's going to happen, right? I mean, we know. And the sense of dread that I had and also the music score adds to that tension. You're just waiting for that moment when he realizes oh he's oh, like it's just so much um i don't think i've ever seen Prit for edge cry so much in a movie before like oh my gosh he just is emotionally wrecked and not only does he, he Prit for edge as an actor go through so many intense emotions in this film and it's really harsh survival um scenes in the in the second half but uh there is a scene when he takes takes off in the, in the second half and you realize how much his body has transformed from starving now i don't know if they use special effects to enhance but oh my god if prit faraj really went there and did what he did for that scene like 
uh, I was I was really stunned. I was really stunned. I'm, let me just put it this way. I am hoping that it was enhanced by special effects so that it wasn't all, that he really didn't look like that. Oh my God, oh my God. So um, I saw there's several theaters in, in my area playing this film, which is unusual for a Malayalam film. Let me just put it that. I think it's, it's getting a much wider release than most Malayalam films. And it was a really good crowd. Um, I saw it at an early evening show and really, uh, really good crowd for uh, like a Thursday night here in Chicago. You know, it opened um, a day early, I assume it was Friday release in, in Kerala. So what I'm seeing on Twitter is that it's getting a massive response, sold out shows. Um, it's really exciting. So, uh, Blessy, oh my gosh, like the, you have to see this film on the big screen. I'm just telling you, you have to see it on the largest screen that you can. Do not wait and just watch it at home for, to watch it on your laptop or your cell phone. No. I mean, this is like the landscape of like a Lawrence of Arabia, right? Where you just have that endless sand and the um, amazing harsh landscape and um, just to really experience the cinematography um, that Blessing and his team gave us. Oh my gosh, wow. So as I mentioned, the screenplay and the direction is by uh, Blessy, but I want to mention um, the cinematographer is Sunil KS. Well, like, wow. Amazing, really amazing cinematography. Um, in the trailer, we saw one of the most amazing scenes where we see um, Pritfresh's character is so, he doesn't even know how he has transformed and he's looking at his reflection in the eye of a camel that blinks with the big eyelashes of a camel. Wow, in fact, really amazing. Um, this, I think this kind of movie is going to really, touch people in Kerala because there's so many people in Kerala that have a family member that has gone to the Gulf to earn money to send back to Kerala. And this is like the the worst fear of what could happen, right? And um, I'm sure stories like this, there's more, more than one horrible story like this. And it's got to really touch a chord. I know the, the, the book that this film is based on, um, for at least from what I'm seeing, I would like to know, viewers, those of you who have read the book, it seems like it's a faithful adaptation and people who are fans of the book are saying that Blessy did a good job in translating it to the screen. Um, I'd like to know your opinion on that. Do you think it was a good adaptation? And again, you have to see it. You have to see it on the big screen. So Pritf Rogers is like a career defining role for him. I, I just an incredible performance. Um, and you know, it's, I think this was kind of a co-production with some um, US producers as well. So it's really international level. Let's just put that, it, it, would, it would be welcomed at any film festival. Like it is, it's a, I don't want to say if it's a universal story, but it's a story that anyone could be completely uh, absorbed in the telling of this survival story. And you don't have to know specific things about Kerala and past Malayalam films or whatever. Like it's something that would be accessible to a wide international audience. I hope a lot of people see it. All right, let me know if you've had a chance to see The Goat Life what you thought of the film. Was it as incredible? Did it live up to your high expectations um, that you had going into the film? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on um, X, Instagram, Threads, Blue Sky, and Pretty Easy Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.